morning this is flat cap cafe racer i'm out on this kind of snowy day here in idaho and today we're going to try to load up this moto Guzzi sport here into the back of this van that i have it's a transit connect it's extended wheelbase but i don't think it's going to be extended enough it's going to be very, very close to whether it's going to fit in here, uh, both in terms of length and height. On length, I'm more concerned on height. I have removed the the fairing on this and the and the mirrors, so we have a little bit more uh, height to play with here. So we're going to try that. Mr. Bill and uh, his son Jay are going to come by today and we're going to try to load this up and put it in a van. And I want the reason why is I don't want to put it in my trailer because I'm going to be hauling about 1800 miles. So I'd be pulling it out there 1800 miles and pulling the trailer back 1800 miles. So this is my nephew's have, has bought this bike so I'm going to try to get it out a little bit closer to him so we go for a ride this summer it'll be already in place that he can just come out fly out ride the bike and if he wants to ride it back home it'd be a lot easier to take it back to Missouri in the van than it would be the van and the trailer that's a lot of extra weight and gas mileage and and also uh, the additional chance of the bike uh, being stolen uh, parked overnight someplace uh, it's not that I have any practice at that. I've had two stolen that way. So I'd rather not go that way. So we'll see. I think what we're going to have is the bike looks to me to be about an inch too long. Uh, maybe a little less than an inch too long when I fit it in. But you, it, you can never really tell because sometimes you, you do a measurement and it looks good and then you have a little protrusion or something out so we'll have to see well thanks to uh, Bill and Jay as you can see the Moto Guzzi did make it in here um, had probably maybe a half an inch to spare at the top because I took the fairing and the windscreen off so I'll have to bring that back in here also need to bring the saddlebags in and I'll put those on the on the floor here let me show you about how far, how much, how close it was to not fitting. That's how close it was, about a finger width of not fitting in here. Or having to take off this fender, which I did not want to do. But even then I had to worry about the tire down here. So I got it all. I've got strapped in here. I've got a little crooked right now, a little tilt to it, but I'll straighten it up. Got enough, probably enough, about three on each side straps on it. And I got one down here at the bottom going through the tire. And actually I got, I got another one here kind of keep things in place and I got a strap on the tire so it's strapped down pretty good and I don't have it really tight or the suspension tight I'll loosen up just a little bit I'm going to keep it in the in the van until I decide to, uh, to make the trip so I have to keep it loose and just remember to tighten it up before I travel too much it says I may have to go home at any time and I want to have the bike loaded up so there's no delay in that Thanks to Bill and Jay, I got it in here easy peasy. This is a Flat Cap Cafe racer saying goodbye and stay tuned for some more rides. I think I'm going to get to Kawasaki out pretty soon. Bye. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.